A new draft fisheries legislation to replace the current 35-year-old one is in the works. And on Wednesday, industry stakeholders will have their say on what should be included in the draft document. A validation workshop will take place at the British Colonial Hilton Hotel, where the draft act will be presented to key stakeholders in the industry. Consultant Christopher Headley has been engaged in consultation works across the country with stakeholders and expects more than 40 participants to attend. The key focus, is, for example, is on improving governance and creating a, a strong structure for, for how fisheries is managed and how um, the department interacts with other stakeholders. So uh, one of the, the key proposals in the new Act is to establish a uh, fisheries advisory council which would have a, a formal footing in the Act, would have certain minimum criteria about how it would operate and how um, it would interact with stakeholders and would have to include amongst its membership a range of different stakeholders, both from the government and from, from the fishing sector itself. Now, Headley says that particular feature has been universally approved. Other areas, he said, deals with this, the general framework for conservation management. Dr. Winston McCullough said the draft legislation ties in with what is taking place regionally. It will certainly strengthen the work of the department um, and we have tried to respond particularly to issues that have come up in the consultation most of which have been mentioned by my colleague uh, one issue which we have dealt with as well is the issue of non-bahamian fishing and strengthening the enforcement mechanisms for um, foreign fishing you know encroachment in the bahamian waters so um, what this act will do is establish a framework, but it's not the ending of the process because further work will have to be looked, done on the old regulations, the existing regulations.